Morning. Morning, Andy. Morning, guys. Off out in the beast this morning. Taking some calling. Yeah, we're going to be leaving Andy and Em to sort out the feeding this morning. Shouldn't be a problem. And then we'll get back and me and Em will be doing some cows, moving some cows around, making some space. And Andy will be hedge cutting. Nah. Just got back into the yard. Andy's doing the strawing up with Em somewhere down there. Getting the job sorted. Give him, go and give him a Look hand. Look at that, it's as if I've not spilt any. I know I have. If you've watched a few of our videos now and you like what you see with the farming and the cows and the JCBs and Andy's coming around with a John Deere, then please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and give us some comments because it really helps small channels like ours grow. Oh, it just beeped after I put my hand up. Can you believe that? Take two, Andy. Take two. <laughs> um, I fetched you a coffee or tea, should I say? Yes, so tell us what happened at college. I did tour to Yorkshire. Tour to Yorkshire? What, you've been on your bike? And I got me a faster on the bike. <laughs> got lost. Did you? It was something to do with trains, weren't it? Yeah, I ended up in like on coast and we're about three hours away from coast. <laughs> oh, no. So just had his coffee. I um, had a chat with Andy and Em. Andy says it's a bit of a nightmare using the 6.9 and the Teagle. This is some, maybe something with the geometry. The, the bales don't seem to like to want to go in. You'll see I've got a bit of fixing to do in other words. So I just got to straighten these bales back out. So they've been pushed all over. See, so yeah, I've sorted those bits out and the pattern I meter up and we're going to put some hay in, me and M. That's the plan. Anyway. So we just emptied one pen, sending them now into their new home, into what we call pen one. Oh. So we'll just walk them nice and steady. Come on then boys, come on. Of course they all want to stop on the way to get some feed. What are you doing still in here? Come on, come on boy. That's what I love about these sticks. You can just put it in front of the face and they just turn. It's great. They are fantastic. And then if they're not moving, just rattle it a bit. Come on, boys. Come on. That's it, come on. And of course, they want to smash the bales to pieces. Steady, lad. Come on. Steady, come on. Come on. Come on. He just wound himself up a little bit. Come on, what's up with you? Come on. Just slipping a bit. I think that's main, his main problem. You get very scared when they start slipping. Come on, lads. Come on, nice and steady. Come on. Come on, we don't want you behind there. Come on. We've got one decided to jump on here. What are you doing? Come on. That's it. That's it, fellas. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're going to have to empty this uh, feed trough. Oh, no, we're not. No, no, we'll be all right. We just shifted some cattle around. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get footage of it because I'd, I'd uh, filmed it in slow mo. So, um, yeah, I've just jumped on the straw blower now because I'm just getting Andy set off to do all that hedge cutting just so he gets a, quite a bit of a day. Um, I've just got another bale to put out and then me and Em can start vaccinating some cows. That's the plan. Just getting on the 125. I'm going to get set off on that. Little hedge cutter, his little Bomford hedge cutter. Off and away he goes. And me blasting it out, blasting some straw onto these guys. So me and Emma are just vaccinating, worming and fluking these guys. All done Em. And of course recording Em. Come on lad. 
Thank you. Good lad. Getting another one in. That's it, nice and steady boy. Trap his head. Squeeze him just to calm him down a little bit. Em will read me the number. Brings it up, pop the weight in. Then later I'll treat this animal so we've got a record of all the treatments that it's had. M puts his back. I'm gonna vaccinate it. Come on lad. Switch. Got a painful vaccine. And then we're just gonna give it a fluke aside again. Jobs are good. So, me and M. We're off to go and fix some water troughs because they're running a little bit steady and so I am presuming that they've got some muck in them. Yep. Um, which is never good. So it's just like a build up of... Um, because we've got because we've got a borehole, it's some high in minerals. We've got lots of filtration but um, some still gets through and goes into the pipes. So I'm thinking that's what's bunging up the little nozzles. So we're going to have a look. Trying to just check this water trough and make sure it's not got any crap in the nozzle because I thought it was running a little bit slow. Um, but we forgot to turn the water off and well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I might get very wet. And of course, Emily's holding the camera. <laughs> so she'll not be getting wet. Oh, there's, yeah, there's some pressure there, Em. I've got to keep your phone dry, me, Joseph. Yeah, yeah, definitely I'll keep that phone dry. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure behind it. Uh, yeah, look at that then. That's the sort of deposits uh, that get caught up on the pipe in the pipe work and then they end up falling off the pipe and going through the nozzle. Great stuff. Well, Em's got me a piece of piece of wire, so we just have to rod that through. Like that. Give it a little wash. Yeah? In here. Just in this water trough. Just in this water trough. She all does that then? Cheers, Joseph. My mother just shouting me because she's brought us some more tags. Um, because we've run out, haven't we, then? Yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping now I can put this back together. <laughs> and stay dry. And stay relatively dry. I'll tell you what, this, this water's pretty cold, then. No, yeah, middle of January, Joe. Yeah. Actually, it's a warm day in January today. It is a warm day for January. You're right. Well, Em's just off to turn the water back on because we think we've got it fixed now. At least I hope we've got it fixed. Can't see why we've not. But we've made a little bit of a mess in back of here. I don't. I don't like making wet holes in cattle yards because they tend to like to come and lay in them. But uh, we'll blow plenty of straw in here, it should dry it up. Yeah, that's it, working perfect now. Brilliant, back up to full speed. Now that we've finished our dinner, um, we're gonna crack on with vaccinating the rest of these cattle. Oh, and I've just turned up and it looks like Em's keeping herself busy. Cleaning out the cattle crush, look. Cracking. Got all those cattle done. Now it's time to just do a feed mix. While well, we we'll wait for some more cattle to turn up, I'm not sure what time they're coming. <coughs> so we're just getting a few jobs done. And then when they come, we'll get them vaccinated as well. Looks like Andy will be doing some milling in here tomorrow. Get this shed filled back up with rolled barley. While I'm away in Newcastle, partying it up. So I'm just topping this up with Trafford Gold. I've already fetched one bucket. But I didn't quite have enough. Uh, I've seen another 200 kilos. 
to take it up to seven ton. Not sure if you'll be able to read that. There we go, it's at six eight. So let's give this a go. This stuff either comes out in one massive lump or you end up shaking it forever to get it to come out. Yeah, we're about there now. There we go. Can't get much closer than that, can you? It's got a load of cattle here. Nice wagon, I like how that's painted up. Steve Holgate and Sons store cattle. Just going to back it down the yard and get them up. This one with all the f stuff on the front, the snow guards. And off he goes. All unloaded. Me and Em will get them vaccinated. A nice truck, that, isn't it, Andy? Yeah. I've been saying that's what oh. she wants to do. Isn't it? Yeah. Hey? Eh? And she gets the 21. She wants her own haulage company. That's if my provisional arrives. That's if your provisional arrives and you pass your car test first and then your lorry test. What are you going to have? Livestock? Yeah. Or are you going to be a tipper? Or are you going to be like Mick Joe on glass? Well, uh, it's alive. <laughs> Just got a load vaccinated and sorted out. There's a few more to do, but. Um, we'd need to open another vaccine and waste a few so we'll just do them when we get some more new cattle in um, so yeah, me and I will probably start feeding up in a minute he's a bit soft this one isn't he um, it's always a bit difficult though when you send him one round on his own yeah this is his first time having a little walk around here found the Trafford Gold and thought that was nice. Come on then. Come on lad. Come on. Come on fella. Not going up uphill. Come on. Oh he's seen other cows now. We'll be happy for that. He's found some more food then. I think he likes it. Not not so bothered about silage, is he? He could have had traffic gold. Right, we'll get him in here. In there with his new mates. Have a little runabout. Already at front eating some silage. Top eater that one, isn't he? <laughs> Ate it all. Uh, right, I think we'll get round and feed some cows. Before I feed up, I better sort out that 7 because um, it needs to be working properly, doesn't it? If I'm going away, nobody else will fix it. Better get on it. I've had the mole grips on the clip that you can see there. And Em's been pushing, aren't you, Em? Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully, we've got it on a little bit better, but we'll only find out when we started running. So we're going to top it up with coolant and then get it back running and check for leaks. It's still leaking after we've fixed it. Brilliant. But on a better note, I'm sure some people have missed him. He's back in the house. Big Mick is How are you doing, mister? Tired, mate. Why? Had a bad week at work. Wankers? Yeah, had a bad week at work, mate. Come back to the farm, mate. No one big M's. Sorting of job out. Are you coming tomorrow? Trying to stop me. What? Helping you out, M. Oh, big smile on M's face. Big balls. No. What's this? Hey. You need big balls for what? You need some big balls for your truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> to be a mister. To be a mister. I'm a mister. I know you're a mister, but M's just talking about when she gets a bit older, 21. She wants to do class. Are you going to do class one or class two or go for big, proper big boys? Go all that, they won't. Oh, yeah. She's going, she's going for a big boy class one and doing... Uh, livestock haulage. Livestock haulage. She wants to be a mister like me. Mm. 
Mixed a big mist. Mixed a big mist. Prop a proper mister though, doing oh. livestock, not doing oh, bloody oh, little I'm pallets and that. Livestock's girly type. <laughs> Is that Carrying glass. That's a mister's job. <laughs> That's my job. Carrying glass. I don't know. House, the best, best that way, is. best glass the carrier best, in UK. The best there is. You want some uh, Carlsberg bottles dropping off? Mix mm. your man. I am the mister. Is it Carlsberg? Any Carlsberg, Budweiser, Heineken, Jam jars. cider bottles, you name it. Mickey boy's done it. There you go, you see. Hey, come on. Right, we're about, fi <laughs> we're about finished for today. Um, Remember, if you've not already subscribed to us, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, because Mick loves likes, and um, we'll see you all, well, I'll not see you until probably Sunday afternoon or maybe Monday, and these guys over here tomorrow, but depends whether they put any footage up. We'll see what happens. See you guys. <laughs>